What if characters from BFB were in your turn to die? This is a question we were all wondering. That's why I made this video. Anyway, first we have to decide who survives the first trial. Here are our final 14 and profile and yes, everyone knows he is there this time. Safari obviously gets to survive due to his speed, the fact that he's fire, and his feats. Next, Leafy 2, due to her isolating in Yoyo Land, has an amazing arsenal of tools. Chelton also has a good range of tools, meaning he survives. Blocky's one of the strongest contestants, meaning he survives. Loser has some amazing feats, such as his throwing capabilities, he survives. Spongy has some amazing durability, he also survives. Teardrop will survive because of her, the strength she has, such as throwing the rope in BFB 18. Same with Flower. But Bubble and Balloony both die because they're easy to pop. And Ruby survives due to her character development once she realized that Bubble died. And if Ruby survives, so does Taco, since they both show equal signs of strength to each other. As the prankster gangster, Woody is a weaker blocky, but still strong, meaning he survives. Now, side of it, Profile of Lollipop, and considering Lollipop didn't show much with how much screen time she had, I guess Profile gets to be here. Okay, so Contestus goes into wacky hijinks in which hilarity ensues. Stuff happens, and then they decide to get their Ouija board out to revive four. So what happens, what happens next? Now that they've all met each other, they will decide who they want to vote off. Recap of the 12 contestants. Anyway, Leafy, Loser, Woody, and Profiley all vote for him themselves. And yes, I'm using vote tags for funsies. Blocky votes Woody for being the weakest link. Taco votes Blocky for being an irresponsible person. Teardrop votes Woody because of that one scene in BFDI 1A. Ben and Jolson, Flower, Fiery, Ruby, and Spongy could not trust Leafy, so they all decide to vote her. And by a vote of 6 to 3 to 1 to 1, Leafy goes bye bye. So now we're down to our final 11. So what's new? Taco had enough of Blocky's antics and started to talk to him about it. So Blocky decides to apologize to Woody, and Taco, Blocky, and Woody all formed an alliance together. Flower kept annoying everyone with a sweater addict besides Fiery, who actually decides to help her out. Everyone loves Loser. Yeah, that's it. Now it's voting time. This time we'll have three roles. Keymaster, Sage, and Sacrifice. Technically the commoner too, but if you're not any of the three that, that I mentioned, then you're, then you're a commoner. In case you need to refresh, this is how the roles go. Keymaster. Basically the Keymaster is like the leader. If they get voted out, everyone else dies with them. Sage knows who the key master is, but cannot lie about it. And the sacrifice dies along with the most voted person, but if they are the most voted, everyone else dies, and the sacrifice decides who to take with them to survive. FYI, here's how the roles will be distributed. So far, Profile and Woody all receive votes. Teardrop votes Woody, Fiery and Flower votes Profile, and everyone else votes Flower. Woody, Profile, and Flower move on to the final voting. So these are the people left. After Taco wins her arguments over Flower, everyone realizes she's a sage, therefore make it safe to vote out Flower, as voting Woody or Profiley will be too risky. Besides Fiery and Flower still voting out Profiley. Loser being the sacrifice gets executed, along with Flower who also gets the most votes. Final nine. What's new? Everyone is now upset the loser's gone. But out of everyone vote Fiery is the most obsessed as two of his best friends are out. Teardrop realizes that Blocky, Taco, and Woody alliance is a thing, so she decides to do the same thing for both Shelton and Ruby. Profiling and Spongy decide to work together because of how little screen time they get. Okay, so now the contestants are in the elevator. Let's see what's gonna happen next. And it's BFB party, ladies and gentlemen. And it's best to fourth one because three more would end before it. Okay, so the contestants are now doing some random stuff to see who gets to get the most coins and whatnot, etc, etc. Now for the scores. 
that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? To drop us the most votes due to their luck. What do you guess the least amount of points due to doing the worst in the mini games? To drop it now to choose in keeping Woody alive. She refuses killing Woody in the process. Final eight. So what's new? Everyone besides Teardrop's alliance now hates Teardrop. Blocky and Taco end up kidnapping Fire and eating him onto their alliance. Spongebob and Profilo decide to join in on Taco and Blocky's plan. Anyway, the raw mechanics are back. Oh wait, is Blocky's funny doings? Okay, sorry about that. Blocky was up to his antics again. But anyway, let's get on with the votes. Teardrop's alliance all vote for Blocky. Spongy votes Ruby. Trust me, you'll find out why. And everyone else votes Teardrop. As for why Spongy voted Ruby, this is because he's the sage and knew Teardrop was the key master. So everyone decides to vote out the other member of the alliance, Ruby. Oh yeah, is this one of the masterminds break the system? They gave the sacrifice role to one of the non-candidates, someone who wasn't supposed to be there. Which was profile and Ruby died due to, to the voting. Final six. So what's new? Okay, this is as far as it goes for now, so I don't know the so I don't think the new chapter of your said did I happen yet. But if you want to run down to it, keeps asking forgiveness, gets rejected, Fire decides to leave the alliance because he felt like he would be like oh eventually as Bungie gets sufficient to his wrist off because he's a greedy person. Thanks for watching.